On Friday, we told you that there appears to be some fallout within the Free National Movement with regards to its leadership. Now, we're told that during a heated council meeting, the opposition leader was given an ultimatum to either call an early convention or suffer the consequences. Our Janae Noel Ferguson has more tonight on what that means. Former deputy leader of the Free National Movement, Loretta Butler-Turner, speaking out following reports of a coup against FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis. It said that the majority of Minnis's parliamentary team have no confidence in him and are ready to take action. Addressing party concerns, the former deputy and Long Island MP said, now is the time for the party to regroup and become unified ahead of the general election. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about um, lack of confidence. I do not know that there was ever such a vote. Um, I do believe that there are options, but first and foremost, we'd like to go to an early convention so that we can rally our troops, so that we can unify our party, so that we can strengthen our base, and we can put out there a strong platform to convince the Bahamian people to vote for the Free National Movement. When asked if she supported Minnis, Butler Turner said this. I've not yet been ratified. I trust that... Um, I trust that Dr. Minnis and I both support each other. That is, that is important. I think trust goes both ways, um, whether it's a leader trusting their team or the team trusting their leader. We have got to remember that we've all got to trust each other. That's the only way we're going to be really strong. As it stands, the former FNM deputy said she believes that the party is not in a good place at this time, and she also spoke against a coalition with the DNA. What we need to do is be unified. Um, once you're not unified, you're not as strong as you should be. And in unity, that means bringing all factions to the table. The FNM historically has been a party that has been made up of factions, but the most important thing is to have a unifying leader, a leader that's able to reach out to all sides and create a synergy whereby you're able to take on whatever comes. Don't think that oppositions are really in a position to have coalitions. I think that if it were to come to um, after an election, if the DNA was to have a few seats, if they needed to be a deal breaker or a deal maker, then you would enter the conversation of coalition. I am on the record as stating very clearly, very succinctly, that I believe that it's all about unifying opposition forces, not in a coalition, more so in a merger. Um, coalition for me means that many accommodations would have to be made, which necessarily may not improve the chances of the opposition. The Long Island MP said it is hoped that an early party convention would put the party back on stable footing. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.